programming. Human beings are programmed. What are they programmed with? This batshit, dumb fuck, only an idiot would support this idea of changing the clock. Ooh, I don't like the sky being a certain color, so I'm gonna change my clock, they say. Clock runs out on efforts to make daylight saving time permanent, so I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I am pissed the fuck off. I am pissed the fuck off. I'm so pissed that the fuck and the fuck is is, a, is an item. It's it's a it's a thing. It's a it's a noun. Is off. It's off. So check this out. Early Sunday morning, Americans will engage in an annual autumnal ritual of falling back, setting their clocks back one hour to conform with standard time. If some lawmakers had their way, it would mark the end of a tradition that has stretched for more than a century. But a familiar story unspooled of congressional gridlock and relentless lobbying campaign this one from advocates that some jokingly call big sleep a bill to permanently spring forward has been stalled in congress for more than seven months now for those of you who don't know 100 senators voted to abolish clock changing 100 senators now uh just to clear up any sort of misconceptions here there are only 100 Senate seats in the Senate, right? And so 100 senators in a chamber that has 100 seats, that's called a unanimous vote. This, this is one of those weird-ass positions uh, where the Senate is actually based and progressive and the House is like the conservative shitfuck, <laughs> you know, uh, chamber. This is and, and, and it doesn't happen often this way. And that happened, I believe, somewhere around March or something. When... Anyway, House officials say they've been deluged by voters with split opinions and warnings from sleep specialists who insist that adopting permanent standard time would instead would be healthier. And congressional leaders admit they just don't know what to do. Now, again, this bill that unanimously passed the Senate was not for permanent standard time, but for permanent daylight time, which would become the new standard time. Again, it's bullshit. I say permanent standard time is the preference, but honestly, the real issue is changing the fucking clock. That's the fucking issue here. I don't give a fuck what side of the coin it lands on. All I want to do is stop flipping the goddamn coin. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been able to find consensus in the house on this yet. Rep. Frank Pallone Jr. Dean said in a statement to the Washington Post, there are a broad variety of opinions about whether to keep the status quo to move to a permanent time, and if so, what time should it be? I say every six months, we just add five minutes to the clock. This is just a new game I want to play. Every six months, add five minutes to the clock. And then, you know, how long is it going to take until we do a full loop? I don't know. Polony chairs the House Energy and Commerce Committees that oversees time change policies also said he's wary of repeating Congress's previous attempt to institute year-round daylight saving time nearly 50 years ago. You know what the average IQ was 50 years ago? In 1970, what was the average IQ? It was like six. Those motherfuckers were dumb as fuck. They voted for Richard fucking Nixon. They voted for fucking Ronald Reagan. They voted... You know, like, these are fucking stupid motherfuckers back in the 1970s, man. Jesus fucking Christ. We're gonna listen to those fucking morons? My goddamn God. My goddamn God. We don't want to make a hasty change and then have it with us several years later after. Why not? Why not? And? And? Oh, no! People might not like it. Wah, boo-hoo. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself with your silver fucking spoon, you little fucking fuck face. I don't give a fuck what you think. Do the goddamn shit. See how people react. It's not that fucking hard with lawmakers having hit the snooze button. Oh, creative writing here. Uh, the bill's quiet collapse puts an end to an unusual episode that briefly riveted Congress, became fodder for late-night comics, and... 
fueled water cooler debate. <laughs> How about the water cooler? I'm debating time. Oh, 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 oh. oh the Senate's unanimous vote in March to allow states to permanently shift the clocks caught some of the chamber's own members by surprise. And in a reverse of traditional Washington dynamics, it is the House slowing down the Senate's legislation. Key senators, blah, 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 blah. Blue, 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 blue. blue. Who cares? We already know that. Uh, but anyway, I am pissed the fuck off. I'm pissed the fuck off. What the fuck's going on? Call your rep. Call your house representative. Call them up and say, what the fucking fuck? Can we just get a vote? We got to force the vote. I'm calling for it. Force the vote. Everybody, say it with me. Say it with me. We got to force the fucking vote on motherfucking permanent daylight savings motherfucking time. Force the vote. I'm starting this campaign right the fuck now. I'm going to call my representative as soon as the show is over because I've had enough of changing my clock. I've had enough of losing an hour of sleep. I've had enough of gaining an hour of sleep. You know what? I have sleep problems. I have enough sleep problems as it fucking is, motherfucker. I don't want to deal. Oh, what time is it going to be in the morning? Oh, it's 5.30. Woo! When did that happen? It didn't happen, motherfucker. It's 4.30. It's not 5.30. That's make-believe. Anyway, so I just wanted to say I'm very passionate uh, about this issue. So, anyway... Uh